All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. So the AK-47 is highly regarded as one of the best. So I took the liberty of making five different AK-47 setups, just depending on what your play style is. So just a brief overview, we've got a stealth AK, we've got an objective AK, we've got a no recoil AK, we got an aggressive AK, and we also do have a balanced AK. And let me preface this with the fact that most of these attachments are gonna be very similar to one another, because if you didn't know, there are some attachments on certain weapons that just don't matter as much as the others do. If you want me to make a video on the attachments that you should completely avoid let me know down below in the comments and i will help you guys out and also keep in mind that each and every single one of these class setups they do have a specific play style that you're supposed to be using them for if you guys do enjoy at some point a like is definitely appreciated and make sure to subscribe join turbo nation today make that baby official turn on notifications make them personal by the way now for the talk let's go to the stealth ak class setup this is one of my personal favorites for the muzzle we're using the suppressor it's not going to be stealth unless you're running a suppressor one key thing that you want to take away from using a suppressor if you want to stay hidden from the enemy minimap is that you must have that 100 muzzle flash concealment that is exactly what you want when you're looking for a suppressor that actually hides you from the enemy minimap if it's got something like for example 85 percent muzzle flash concealment that is not going to hide you completely when you're using your weapon and therefore you are not going to be stealth all right, so for the next attachment, we're running with the 20 inch Liberator. So this one gives us that 100% bullet velocity. Now, this is also very important because if you've ever shot at somebody and you felt like your shots aren't connecting 100%, that's because your bullet velocity probably isn't as optimized as possible. So you definitely want to have an attachment such as the Liberator to have that 100% bullet velocity. Now, there are other attachments here like 50% bullet velocity, but you know, to be as effective as possible with the way that you use this class setup you definitely want that 100 bullet velocity moving on to the magazine so this is a personal preference but i feel like with the time to kill in black ops cold war you definitely want to have as much ammo as possible now keep in mind there is a slowdown of that 25 percent aim down sight time but that's why we're going to use the serpent wrap so that we can mitigate that negative with an additional 25 percent aim down sight time basically canceling out that negative as if it never happened so for the stock we're using the kgb skeletal stock gives us that 30 percent sprint to fire time and that 40 percent aim walking movement speed for the secondary i'm just using a launcher this is just personal preference any kind of score streak that they do put out there definitely want to take that down tactical i'm using stim shot lethal is going to be semtex and field upgrade is going to be the field mic so this is especially helpful when you're kind of deep in the enemy spawn and they're coming into the middle of the map from their spawn that way i can predict their movement and then that will tell me you know which direction i should be paying attention to now for the perks this is what's going to complete it as a stealth class setup if you want to optimize you know being stealthy flanky you know using as much intel as possible definitely go with forward intel not a bad choice at all and the second perk i'm going to be using is paranoia that way you know when i'm moving around the map and i'm flanking and flanking is the type of play style that you definitely want to use with this class setup it's mostly when you're sticking to the outskirts of the map and you're trying to attack the opponent from behind that way you get easy kills and you outsmart them in that sense second tier is optional you don't have to use tracker but personally if you're flanking it makes it a lot easier to track down opponents if you literally see their footsteps if you're flanking and you're sticking to the outskirts of the map and you're constantly on the move you definitely want to remain hidden from those enemy uavs remember ghost stops working the second that you stop moving so always keep that in mind you got to keep constantly moving you won't be stealth you won't be sneaky if they can hear your footsteps that's why you need the ninja perk all right moving on to the objective ak-47 class so this one is mostly for domination hardpoint etc etc barrel is going to be the 18.2 inch vdv reinforced now i know i did discuss that you wanted that 100 bullet velocity however if you're playing the objective you know you're not really going to be shooting enemies from afar like you would with the flanking type of play style because with the flanking type of play style and you're sticking to the outskirts of the map the distance between yourself and the enemies are usually going to be a lot greater but if you're playing something like the objective bullet velocity doesn't really matter as much you definitely want to improve and optimize that 100 percent effective damage range as much as possible now for the next attachment the tiger team spotlight on the body attachment this one is a really really great one this literally shows you where enemies are at you see their gamer tags even before you aim down sight from a pretty good distance you see them before they even see you so this would give you a huge advantage so for the magazine we're going to be running with that 50 round fast mag again same reasons as previously said 
And the handle is going to be the serpent wrap just to be able to give us more aim down sight time. Uh, stock is going to be still the KGB skeletal stock. So you definitely want to be a team player. You want to take down those UAVs, whatever score streaks are in the air. That's why I'm running with a launcher. Uh, tactical is going to be a flashbang. This is just by choice. I feel like stuns, it still gives the opponent a chance to aim down sights and shoot you when they're stunned. So I went ahead and went with a flashbang. And this seems to be very effective if you're taking away their visuals. Just kind of hoping and praying that you don't kill them. So that's why I do recommend a flashbang. You know, you can throw it at the objective. You could throw it at enemies coming at the objective. Lethal, it's just pretty much optional here. You can use whatever you want, but I find the Semtex to be very effective. Uh, field upgrade. Trophy system is definitely something you do want to run. That way you can deflect when enemies throw stuns or grenades. It definitely helps out in that aspect when you're trying to hold down a flag or an objective. Perks. This is going to be flak jacket to take less damage from explosives. Tack mask to not be able to be as stunned or flashed when enemies throw those at you. Uh, scavenger and gearhead. Now, the reason why I'm using gearhead is because it reduces your field upgrade cooldown and you're able to store up to two field upgrade charges. So this is going to be especially helpful when you're using your trophy system. Tier 3, I'm going with cold-blooded. This will help you stay alive when you're trying to hold an objective, for example, and they've got like a VTOL or a chopper gunner out there. You won't be detected when you have cold-blooded, and that's going to be very helpful when you're trying to hold down an objective. And Spycraft is nice as well. Like I said, you want to be a support objective type of player. So this helps you hack enemy field upgrades, immune to counter spy plane, jammer, tracker, paranoia, and it won't trigger proximity mines or gas mines. This is also a great perk in the tier three next we have the no recoil ak i would say that this is one of my also favorite ak-47 builds now let me preface this with the fact that this is mostly for people who have trouble aiming their weapon and getting a good accuracy so you also do want to keep in mind with that with this play style for this build you want to play reserve you know you don't want to go around rushing people you don't want to play too aggressive that's why we have a separate aggressive build by the way literally no recoil at all so for the optic we're using the mill stop reflex this is optional you can use whatever attachment you want but for me personally depending on the size of the map i will change this out so for example if i'm playing on nuketown mill stop reflex is definitely perfect but if you're playing on a much larger map like satellite for example you do want to go with the vision tech times too all right so for the muzzle we're using the spetsnaz comp Compensator. Spetsnaz Compensator gives us that 12% vertical recoil control. For the barrel, depending on the size of the map that you are playing on, you know, when you're playing reserve, playing on the outskirts, you're trying to pick people off from long distances, it really just depends on the size of the map. You could either go with the 18.2 inch VDV or the 20 inch Liberator. The 20 inch Liberator would probably be an attachment that you would want to use on a map like Satellite, where the gunfights are mostly very long. There is a bullet drop off in Cold War. So if you don't have bullet velocity, you're probably going to miss your shots all right so for the body again we're using the tiger team spotlight if you're able to see the opponents right before they even see you from a great distance this is of course obviously going to give you an advantage for the underbarrel we're using that spetsnaz speed grip and this is very helpful because it gives us that horizontal recoil control that we're looking for we do have vertical now now we've got horizontal recoil with this attachment and it also does increase your sprinting movement speed which is not really that important when you're playing more reserved but either way it's a great bonus so for the magazine again i'm running with the 50 round fast mag for the handle i'm using the gru elastic wrap this gives us that 30 percent aim down sight time and also that flinch resistance for the stock we're using the spetsnaz pkm stock this gives us that shooting movement speed as well as that aim walking movement speed. Secondary is optional. You can use whatever you want. But for me personally, I'm just still going to use a launcher. Moving on to the aggressive class. This is one of my personal favorites as well. This is great for Nuketown, great for crossroads, etc. Very small, fast paced maps. For the barrel, I'm running with a 20 inch Liberator. I want that 100% bullet velocity as much as possible if we're playing aggressive. I want to make sure that my bullets do hit the opponent for the underbarrel i'm using the infiltrator grip this gives us that five percent in movement speed five percent in shooting movement speed and five percent in aim walking movement speed with no cons to it as well that's why this is a great attachment then we're going to use that with the 50 round fast mag all right so for the handle we're using that Gru elastic wrap to maximize that aim down sight time and also that 90 percent flinch resistance is also going to be key and additionally you could aim while going prone although i don't really recommend it but this attachment allows us to drop shot which could be helpful in certain situations. Uh, for the stock, we're going with the K-47 
KGB Skeletal Stock once again for that extra boost in the 30% sprint to fire time, which is very important. You want to be able to fire your weapon as fast as possible after coming from a sprint and that 40% aim walking movement speed. We definitely do want that as well. All right. So for the secondary, now this is what is going to make this class super, super aggressive. We're running with the AK-74U. If you're wondering how I'm doing that, I'm using the Lawbreaker wildcard. Muzzle is going to be the sound suppressor. Barrel is going to be the 9.3 inch VDV reinforced. Magazine is going to be that 40 round speed bag. And the handle is going to be the serpent wrap. And the stock is going to be that KGB skeletal stock. Now, when you're playing very aggressive, you know, there are going to be moments where you literally just cannot afford to reload your weapon. So that's why switching directly to your secondary, your AK-74U is going to be helpful in those situations. So the tactical, we definitely want that stim shot to heal ourselves a lot quicker. Semtex is going to be our lethal and field upgrade. This is also personal. You could use an assault pack to be able to replenish your ammo, or you can use something like a field mic, proximity mine, you know, whatever your heart desires. If I'm rushing pretty aggressively, I do want to know when enemies are looking at me because I could get caught from any angle. You know, when you're playing aggressive, you pretty much play a little careless, you know, versus is playing a stealthy flanky type of play style that yellow tint is going to show you which direction an enemy is looking at you and that'll give you a chance to turn around and kill them if needed all right so for perk two i'm using scavenger to replenish ammo from fallen players and then for perk three we're going to be using gung-ho this allows us to fire a weapon and use equipment while sprinting this is going to be huge for playing aggressive and also switch weapons faster which also does help our cause in using the ak-74u as our secondary last but not least the balanced ak K47, another one of my personal favorite builds. Uh, this one is just pretty much built all around. It's got great recoil control. It's stealth, so it's going to keep you hidden from the enemy minimap as much as possible, resulting in fewer deaths. And also, it's got great speed to it as well. So this is the most balanced class setup that I do have to offer here. So for the muzzle, we're using the suppressor. And then for the barrel, we're going with the 18.2 inch VDV reinforced. And for the magazine, we're running with the 50 round fast mag. And for the handle, we're running with that serpent wrap. And for the stock, the KGB skeletal stock. So we're using the flak jacket and tack mask. And then for perk two, we're gonna be using assassin and scavenger. And for perk three, we're using ghost and ninja. So again, this is very similar to the previous class setup. But however, you know, if you're trying to maximize the most balanced potential that you can out of this weapon, uh, these attachments certainly do accomplish that as well. Let me know down below in the comments which class setup you will be going with. And make sure to drop a like on this video if you did enjoy. I would really appreciate it. It shows me this is the kind of content you want to continue to see. And make sure to subscribe if you are brand new around here for more Call of Duty content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Let's go. Let's go, baby.